Hi there, Mark here from besthomeplanetariums.com and one of the questions I get asked a lot is how to set up the Sega Homestar projector, whether it's the original or the Flux, it's pretty much the same procedure. So this one's the Flux, but the original looks pretty much identical to this, but it has, uh, the, the bulb isn't quite as bright. So you can see just around the back, these are your controls, this is your timer and you can set it to automatically shut off after 15, 30 or 60 minutes. The move button allows you to set the disc rotating north or south. This one is the shooting star and this is power on and off. And just above that is the tray. This is where we're going to load the projection disc and you'll also see you've got DC in. So to get this set up, first things first, remove the tray, get your disc, place the disc in the tray. It's quite loose, that's absolutely fine. Tray back in, like so. So when you turn it on, you're gonna aim it where you want it to aim. You can see this can aim uh, either up or against a wall. Keep in mind that there is a focal distance to these. I'll put them on the screen because they're different for the flux than the original and you're going to be using this ring here to focus the image to get it nice and sharp. So in terms of position, I'm just on a bedside table. You could put it on a bedside table, you could put it on a kitchen table, you could put it on your floor. It doesn't really matter as long as it's the right distance from the wall or ceiling. I'm going to just project it onto this wall so I can show you the controls. So it's going to look extra bright because it's projecting a little bit too close. So one thing to note is these buttons, they have lights on, but the actual buttons aren't backlit. So if I turn this on and turn off the main light, <laughs> you'll see what I mean. So we see the projection fine, but we can't see the controls. So you kind of have to do it by touch. They are raised. So at the moment we've got a static image. And if we press the buttons, you can see the little lights on and I like to have it rotating. And I like to have the shooting star on as well. If your projection is round like this, you can see it's very clearly round. That means you've got it way too close. You can see it's only covering a small area. So when you've got it set up, pointing it to your wall or ceiling, get up close to it and you'll probably see it's a little bit blurry. That's when you use the focus ring, just rotate that around so the image will uh, move a little bit, try it one way and if it doesn't sharpen up go the other and there you go, you can see look at that, all of a sudden all the stars are nice and pin prick sharp. What you will find, depending on how you've got this pointing, you may find that some on the edge of the projection go a little bit blurry but that's okay, it's get the main central area looking nice and sharp and you'll be in for a treat. You can then lie back, put some relaxing music on and enjoy the star show.